Hi, welcome again to my YouTube channel. In this example, I'm going to show on value display widget that is used to display the value of the potential meter from the uh, not MCU. In this example, we just need a two components, which is the LED and also the potential meter. The LED is connected to the pin D7 while the potential meter is connected to the pin uh, analog input A0. And the blink program is only consists a value display widget here. And it will display whatever it has been sent by uh, no MCU through the blink app. And for this uh, value display widget is connected to a virtual pin named V3. So when you turn uh, the knob, right, or the potential meter, so what happened is the node MCU it will convert from the analog to the digital value, and then from that digital value it also uh, converted into uh, the voltage, right, and it will send to the uh, blink app, right, to the value display widget, and then it will display the value. Okay. And at the same time, it uh, the node MCU will also uh, we control the LED brightness, right? The value that read from the analog it will send to the LED. All right, let's create the project of the Blink app. So first, just select the new project here, and then we can name the project. For example, analog input for uh, tension meter. And we select the device. So in this case, we use the not MCU ESP8266. So we just select ESP8266, uh, and then we select the connection type. Why is it so Wi-Fi? And then uh, we click uh, the create button here. And then after that, you we got it the uh, authorization token that will be sent to your email where you have uh, registered when you uh, first install the Blink app. This is the example of the authorization token. All right, as I mentioned you before, this uh, uh, value display widget is connected to the virtual pin named V3. So how to configure this? Uh, you just uh, tap this uh, widget, okay. And then uh, you can change the name, for example, potential meter. And then you can select the uh, virtual pin, right? For example, V3. And then uh, in this case, uh, yep, we select V3. And that's it. The final value will be like this one. Alright, so let's construct the circuit. Alright, after you have done construct the circuit, so let's do this program.
Okay, let me as, uh, explain a little bit about this program. So what you need to do in this program is you just need to copy the authorization token uh, that you got it from your email. You put it here. And then after that, you need to change the Wi-Fi ID, which is your Wi-Fi network, uh, uh, including also its password here. And uh, we declare uh, a, a variable that uh, we refer to uh, pins, right? For example, potential meter is connected to the pin A0 and LED is connected to the pin D7. And we also use the uh, blink timer, right? Okay, so you need to call this one blink timer. And also we declare a variable named volt, right? Which is refer to voltage. And we also uh, declare a function, for example, name sensor one. You can put any name here. And in order to read the uh, analog input, so we need to call the analog function, analog read potential meter that refer to the A0 and uh, it will save into this variable named value and then that value you will pass to uh, the LED pin in order to control the LED brightness and also with that value you will convert it into voltage right this is the formula and that uh, voltage value you will send it to the blink apps Right, to the uh, value display widget. So we just call bling dot virtual right v3 volt. Okay. On the uh, setup function, you just need to configure uh, the pins of transmitter and LED whether input and output. And then after that, configure uh, the serial uh, monitor. Okay. And then initialize on a bling server. And also, you need to initialize the timer, uh, the timer set interval uh, equal to uh, 300L sensor 1. That means this function will, um, will repeat for the uh, 300 millisecond. And inside the loop function, you just need to call bling.run and timer.run. Okay, after you have uploaded the program, so you can open the serial monitor you will see this message right if you don't get the message you just need to press the reset button on the not mcu then you will get this message uh, if you get this message that means uh, your iot device and also your blink apps is connected successfully in order to run the blink program of your blink app so you just need to press display button and then when you adjust the uh, potential meter knobs right so you will see that this value will be changed okay so i think that's it thank you uh, see you again on the next video